Today, I'm talking with Dr. Nelson Oyasiku, the new chair for the UNC Department of Neurosurgery. Just a brief introduction about him. Dr. Oyasiku received his medical degree from the University of Ibadan in Nigeria and Master of Science from the University of London. He then immigrated to the United States for neurosurgical training, completing his residency and PhD at Emory University. Since completing his training, Dr. Oyasiku has worked as a neurosurgeon with a focus on pituitary tumor treatment at Emory. He has also served as the editor-in-chief of neurosurgery, operative neurosurgery, and neurosurgery open. In 2019, he was elected president of the World Federation of Neurosurgical Societies. He has also been recognized for his prominent career achievements and service as a surgeon in his home country of Nigeria. We are extremely fortunate to have Dr. Oyasiku as the department's new chair starting this spring. So welcome, Dr. Oyasiku, and thank you for taking the time to talk with us today. Pleasure. Thank you, Mackenzie. So I wanted to start by asking you, what made you decide to move to the United States to pursue a career in neurosurgery? Well, I think it's pretty clear. I uh, was um, now as well as then that the, the United States had the best um, neurosurgical clinical services and the best uh, neurosurgical educational uh, institutions. Um, and so the choice was quite easy in that regard. Um, but um, as you might expect with, with the very desirable training uh, environment in the United States, it was extraordinarily competitive. So it wasn't quite easy to get in. And so um, the bar was rather high, but I'm grateful that I was given a shot at it and started my training here at, uh, at Emory. What interested you the most about the position as chair of the UNC Department of Neurosurgery? Well, I've, I found out about the search early last year and um, I'd known about the institution. It's a storied legacy as a public Ivy um, and has uh, great programs in the medical school, the School of Pharmacy, um, business school and so forth. And I also knew about its neurosurgical department uh, a couple of decades back, uh, dating back to when Dr. Steve Mahaley was chair uh, of the division at that time, and then it became a department uh, about a decade ago. So taken together with the, with the storied legacy of the institution and the great programs um, in medicine in general and um, the, the, the uh, department in particular, um, I was uh, very enamored of the, the opportunity and did more investigation and, and found that it was a great opportunity to grow the programs, both clinically, scientifically, and on the educational piece. And of course, Chapel Hill is a wonderful place to live as I'm beginning to learn over and over again from uh, folks who have lived, lived there and, and have found out that we're going to be transitioning there. Your focus has been pituitary tumor surgery. What are you looking forward to the most about working with the UNC pituitary tumor team? Yes, so they, the, the team there is very strong. Um, there's a, a good group of, uh, you need a, a multidisciplinary group of, of uh, physicians and practitioners to make a really good pituitary center of excellence. And that includes obviously um, the neurosurgeons, um, but certainly also includes endocrinology, um, skull base and ENT surgery, um, ophthalmology and neuro-ophthalmology, uh, neuroradiology, neuropathology. These are all critical key pieces. And um, um, I found out that may, many of those pieces are already in place so that it will allow for the program to foster and, and grow and get even stronger. You worked closely with neurosurgery residents at Emory while serving as the director of their residency program. What advice would you give to our current neurosurgery residents? Yes, um, so the, the nice thing about neurosurgery is that it, it I think it combines the best uh, of both uh, great uh, clinical uh, uh, programs as well as neuroscience research. So it's one of the areas of, of surgery that has a great blend of both clinical as well as research. So I think first thing would be to take 
great opportunity, take advantage of that opportunity uh, to, to both develop your clinical skills as well as the research potentials in neurosurgery. And that's available at, at UNC. The re neuroscience research programs are very strong and the basic and translational programs are very strong. So I would urge the residents uh, to take advantage of both the clinical uh, uh, piece as well as the research piece being uh, at an institution such as UNC. Since you first immigrated to the United States and began your career, there has been a lot of change within neurosurgery, specifically in becoming more diverse. Yet only about 4% of neurosurgeons are black and even fewer are black women. How would you like to see, see the field of neurosurgery improve its diversity and inclusion going forward? Yes, I think, um, I think it all starts with the, the pipeline. Um, um, if we're trying to get more diverse and inclusive, uh, we can't wait until the students actually show up at the time of the, of the interviews for neurosurgery. By that time, it's, it's, it's really too late. Um, we've got to get people interested uh, very early on in um, high school, uh, long before they make the decision about what kind of college courses to take and, and then what kind of medical school to attend and then what kind of neurosurgery programs to choose. So we've got to go a little earlier, further back to develop the pipeline and get students uh, in school, high school, interested in you know, the science and, and medicine and expose them to the, the wonders of the brain and neuroscience and so forth. And then, then you have a shot at it because then you have more people going from high school to college and college to medical school that have that spark already lit within them and they know exactly what's, what are the uh, opportunities out there. And of course, then you've got to make uh, uh, choices, right? And uh, create opportunity for, for those that are interested um, mentorship is extraordinarily important. Going to to expose oneself to the, the students is very important so they can see people like them um, that are already in the field. And it's, it's kind of like, it makes it easier when you see someone who looks like you or um, is, 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 a, is, is a model or template for you, then it's easier to copy than when you don't have any idea of anybody who is remotely like you in the in the in the field, and it makes it harder for you to copy something that doesn't exist. So those are the kinds of things I would be thinking at, um, at, at doing in terms of fostering the the pipeline uh, would be number one, creating opportunity number two. I am sure you've had many mentors throughout your training and career, as well as opportunities to be a mentor. Who has been the most influential mentor or colleague in your career? I think it would have to be um, uh, Dr. Tyndall, uh, who, who was my former chairman. Um, and uh, he was chair when I came in to train. And um, my interest in pituitary surgery was developed as a result of his um, mastery of that area of surgery. And, uh, we had a lot of uh, uh, patients with that, with those kinds of problems. We saw a lot of pathology, and um, it was it was as a result of that that I, I became interested in the, in the in the in that field. So I I would put him up there. I would also put um, Dr. Robert Jones, who um, um, I worked with uh, earlier or earlier on um, um, in in Philadelphia. He was also a great mentor. <laughs> What are some of your immediate plans or goals for the UNC Department of Neurosurgery? Well, first, I, I want to learn as much as I possibly can from everybody that's there to, to gain a, great under, a greater understanding uh, of what's, what's already been accomplished and, and the needs and, and, and of the department. Uh, but fundamentally, the three areas we're going to concentrate on uh, would be um, clinical service, line development, uh, obviously. Number two, research and growing the research programs. And thirdly, uh, the education, the residency uh, training program. So fundamentally, those are the three blocks that we're going to be looking at. In terms of the clinical, uh, we want to expand our product lines um, in, in various areas, such as neuro-oncology, uh, functional neurosurgery, spine, uh, pediatrics, peripheral nerve, uh, of course, my area as well, pituitary surgery. 
Uh, so I, I do want to expand the, the offerings in, in those pro, uh, service lines. And of course, along with that goes with, with the research piece, translational piece. I want to uh, expand our research offerings, improve the research infrastructure, um, uh, attract more extramural grant support. Uh, and uh, as I said before, neurosurgery is blessed with opportunities in neuroscience research. Uh, in areas such as neuro-oncology and functional neurosurgery. So there's adequate uh, opportunity there to really expand and, 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 uh, and offer more research uh, discovery. And with the strengths at UNC as a strong research university, I think that's very, very, very um, feasible. And of course, we want to grow the residency training program. We've got two residents per year. We want to make sure that the residents uh, are prepared uh, for academic careers if that's what they choose or private or private academic careers uh, and we want to be able to attract the best students uh, to the training program so I'm going to concentrate some energy on that as well. Thank you Dr. Ayusiku for meeting with me today um, and getting just answering some of our questions. I know that I speak for everyone in the department when we're really looking forward to you coming in and seeing what you do this um, spring and in the coming years so thank you so much for meeting with me today. Thank you very much, Mackenzie. Great pleasure. Looking forward to it. Be there in a few weeks.